Absolutely gorgeous now across southeastern Louisiana. Plenty of sunshine, blue sky, and a little bit of a breeze here for us to work with as well. Maybe not as breezy and gusty as yesterday, but it's still there here a little bit. Let's show you the live satellite and radar. Last six hours uh, looking very clear, very calm here, and winding out the picture across the Gulf Coast and including the Gulf of Mexico. That's where we find some of the clouds here interacting with the warmer sea surface temperatures and the cooler air here as well, producing some of those clouds that we see there to our south. Looking at the drier air here in the upper levels of the atmosphere, that has produced all the sunshine we've been seeing lately, and not to mention area of high pressure in control here too. Let's get to those current winds here coming from the east to northeasterly direction, 10 to 15 miles an hour. And again, not really gusty, but these are the sustained winds that we're dealing with right now, making things slightly on the breezy side. Temperatures uh, mid to even upper 60s. We got 67 from Slidell all the way south through Galliana. A little bit warmer in Homa for you. You're currently at 68. Kenner's reporting 66, and so is Hammond at the uh, same time. Forecast for the rest of the day, just overall a mainly sunny and dry one, and also pretty breezy as well with temperatures into those low to mid 70s for much of the area. Upper 60, 69 there in Bell Chase here today, and also down towards the Boothville area this afternoon. If you're heading off to the Saints uh, versus Broncos game tonight at the Superdome, at 715 that is kickoff and by that point it will be clear as well still with temperatures at 66 a little bit cooler at 63 degrees by around halftime and by the end of the game tonight still looking cool temperatures dropping to a pretty comfortable 60 degrees forecast lows overnight into early tomorrow morning 40 especially for you on the north shore but we got the 50 setting up mainly for areas along the south shore 60s though closer towards the coast here so let's talk about what's happening here in the atmosphere. So high pressure is going to continue to remain in place just off to our north. So we're still looking pretty mild here across much of the deep south here for us to deal with, including us southeast, including us here locally in southeastern Louisiana. So the clear skies are really just going to continue as long as high pressure is in place and in control of our weather. Maybe a few clouds begin to sneak in, sneak into the picture here as we head into the day tomorrow and maybe even to Saturday here too. I don't think we're going to really see any rain as if anything mainly stays offshore of us. We're just going to continue to remain under this, under this pattern that we've been in here uh, so far recently. Now, meanwhile, in the tropics, we're watching a couple of areas. The first one here is this broad area of low pressure near the uh, northern Leeward Islands, and we're also watching another system. It's another broad area of low pressure setting up here in the southwestern Caribbean Sea. National Hurricane Center is giving both of these systems a low chance of development. The one here in the eastern or the, the one here approaching the Lesser Antilles has about a 30% chance of tropical development over the next seven days as it continues making its way towards the west. And also the one in the southwestern Caribbean Sea that has about a 20% chance of tropical development over the next seven days. And really the computer forecast models are not overly excited about this. We'll see what happens, but right now low chances of development overall. Your WDSU first morning seven day forecast showing that we got high temperatures into those uh, mid to even upper 70s throughout the weekend. Our high temperatures though will increase to the lower 80s as we get a change in the winds here coming up Monday through Wednesday of next week. Maybe not as sunny, but we're still looking at a few passing clouds moving in. Rain chance is virtually zero here over the next several days as well. Our low temperatures into the 40s and 50s here along, along the north and south shore over the next few mornings and then warming up into the 50s and 60s on the north and south shore coming up as we head into next week.